Yes, indeed, uh, big challenges ahead. Uh, Brexit is obviously uh, the biggest one. Uh, in his favour, let's uh, look at the fact that he has been elected by a majority of Conservative MPs. That was uh, the first part of this process. And that today, uh, what was announced is that he got over 92,000 votes. So from the 160,000 eligible to vote, and I think just over 159,000 did vote. And he got 66% of those cast a ballot. So from that point of view, it's very positive. But the fact that he's got Brexit, that uh, he has said do or die, that he said that he can and will renegotiate a deal uh, with the EU uh, when it took three years to get to the point that we got and um, where you've got a Theresa May who is uh, leaving because she was unsuccessful with the deal that she managed to negotiate. And when you know that although we've got a new prime minister, uh, that you've got the same parliamentary arithmetics um, and basically that the Conservatives uh, are in a minority government depending on the Democratic Unionist Party in what is called a confidence and supply government uh, and that they have got basically two MP majority and possibly will lose one in the coming week or so in a by-election, you can see the tall order. So. Unofficially, I've been hearing that apart from the rousing uh, reception that he got both at Tory HQ this afternoon and then in a committee room here in Parliament in front of Conservative MPs, that he will be reaching out in his cabinet, which he's already clearly looking at very carefully. Um, and it will be very interesting to see who he does uh, appoint as Chancellor, as Defence Secretary, as Home Secretary, as uh, Foreign Secretary, and what signals that will give, and whether there will be people who could... Uh, possibly have uh, the label of Remainers. He needs to unite that party and that will be extraordinarily difficult, extraordinarily difficult to get uh, a new EU deal, basically impossible, since he says that the one that Theresa May negotiated is dead. Um, and when you know that the 27 other EU countries, although welcoming him um, as the next Prime Minister in the UK and saying they look forward to um, meeting him and talking to him, um, how on earth is he going to pull that off? But he has said he's prepared for the no deal and that do or die, the United Kingdom will respect that new deadline of the 31st of October, that extension given by the 27 other EU countries, uh, and may leave, uh, will leave, uh, the EU by the 31st of October, do or die.